Hello, it's Kelly Hoosier again. Um, this week we were to do a book that has won the Caldecott honor. Um, I chose Big Cat, Little Cat. It is, it was written by Alicia Cooper. Uh, the publisher is Roaring Brook Press. Uh, it was published in 2017. It won the Newberry or the Caldecott honor in 2018. Um, so the story begins, the copy I have has a little bit of a decoration here, so forgive me. The story begins very simply with, there was a cat. Starts the story, nice and simple, easily to, easy to digest. Goes through the cat's everyday life, what he does every day by himself. Then they introduce the other main character, which is Little Cat. The contrast is very nice between the white and the black. So the big cat shows the little cat everything to do in life, how to find a place to go to the bathroom, where to eat, where to drink, how to behave, when to rest. And then uh, it shows the two animals, big cat, little cat, kind of emphasizes big cat, little cat. Repetition is good as well. It also has this nice warm color behind it. And you'll notice in the book, there's not a lot of color except for when they have these soft, tender moments, and then they have these warmer hues. So it goes through the life progress of the little cat. He gets bigger and bigger. Eventually he gets bigger than big cat. Shows their everyday life, what they do together, cooking, cleaning. It kind of takes on a human life of what they do every day, cooking, cleaning, uh, climbing, hunting, exploring, and they make plans and then true to cats every day they go wild so even though they give a human aspect to it they also play back to these are cats again the warm background when they're together sharing those soft moments so then the story takes a turn where as in everyone's life every animal every human's life the big cat gets older gets slower and then it simply says the cat had to go. It doesn't say he dies, it just says he has to go and he doesn't come back. So here is where the colors change. It's hard to see here, but it changes to more of a taupe, a bit more gray than the warm colors you've seen before when it was the two of them. So he's in his bubble, he's alone in his grief. The next page is really lovely because it shows the family and it says it was hard for everyone. The whole page is grayed out. He's not alone in his grief. Other people share it with him. Then comes back around. A new kitten comes. White like the beginning cat. So black cat runs him through life. So we're getting the repetition. We're getting a cycle back through. And then back to the warm hues where they're together. It says big cat, little cat. Again with the repetition, which is comforting. Yeah. I think this is a wonderful book for children because it can really be good for any range of children. Um, the age range for this is four to eight, but you could it could just be a light book. You could just take it at face value or for older kids, you could really delve deep into it and get into the emotions of loss and grief and how it's OK. And it will be OK again. It's OK to be sad, but you don't have to be alone. Um, I think some good activities for this would be you could do a color based activity where the kids express themselves. What colors make you feel sad? What colors make you feel happy? Um, there's another activity where you could do a before and after kind of graphic. Draw out a little chart with a before and after side. The before picture could be a time that you felt sad. What made you feel sad? Draw the facial expression. How did that make you feel? And then the after, it could be a way of exemplifying their coping mechanisms. What made you feel better? What did you do to feel happy again? If kids are struggling with this, you could work with them and help them kind of establish, again, coping mechanisms for grief, healthy coping, me coping mechanisms artistic outlets, physical activity, things like that. That way, if they're ever faced with things like this or if they've been faced with things like this in the past, they know how to deal with these things in a healthy way. And it also helps give a face to these things. Um, so yeah, 
I think this is really just a lovely book. And again, it could be light. It could be deep. It could just be about the circle of life. Look, life, look how it comes back around. Isn't that nice? The cat's happy again. Or it could, again, delve deeper into grief and loss for older kids. So there is my book review. Thank you.